Hey guys, welcome back to the show. After a few opinion videos today, we're back with Superfilm Support. And as you know, you go to superfilmsupport.com and ask me any film question and I'll be happy to answer it here on YouTube. This week, we have uh, questions about uh, adjusting aperture on recessed uh, lens board. And he says, I find it, uh, Jack is writing, I find it difficult to adjust the aperture when aperture ring uh, when using the recessed board, especially with the wide angle XL lenses. Any tips or, tips or tricks that you can share with us? So I'm gonna go quickly through the theory of it. So those that maybe don't know much about this can be on the same page as Jack and me. So when you're shooting large format lenses um, and you're shooting wide angle lenses, usually you have to have the lens very close to the body. And because of that, some cameras have certain limitations that say that this camera can't focus any closer than basically, you know, certain distance. And what you do is you basically change, instead of changing so much the focus, because this is the limit, for example, for this camera, and I'm not being exact, let's say the limit for this camera is actually somewhere like there. Um, and imagine there you still can't focus at infinity with a flat lens board. So what we use is a recessed lens board. And that means it's a lens board that has, let me see if I can open this, that has, oh my God, hard to take out, that has a cone that goes backwards. As you can see, this lens board on the B cam has a lens board that is recessed around 20 millimeters making the effective focal length be closer to the body. What happens when this is done is that you uh, lose the access because it's inside like a bucket. So you lose access to changing the aperture or the shutter speed with your fingers because our fingers are pretty fat. It's hard to change the settings on these lenses. This happens, like I said, especially with wide angle lenses. There's the Schneider uh, super angle on lens uh, mount or lens series, the called XL lenses, which have a very wide field of view. This is the 72 millimeter XL with 115 degree angle. I'm reading this from this. I'm not that of much of an expert with the angle exactly. And uh, basically you try to do anything with your fingers and it's impossible. You're out in the field, you're maybe wearing gloves, you can't adjust anything. It's a pain to try to do anything with this. So my advice is a very simple one that you, everybody carries with them when they go out in the field and that is keys. I use house keys uh, or car keys. Now I don't own a car, thanks to the Finland life. And I basically grab the key, and the microphone's not picking me up. I grab the key and I go ahead and I change the aperture. So I'm going to F11, uh, I'm there. Now I can go to F16, there. And then I can cock the shutter if I want and I can actually stop, close, and open the lens by doing that, and now I can shoot it. I can shoot it with the cable release or even with a key or a finger, depending on the shutter speed, of course, but that's what I use, a little key. Of course, you could get something that's not a key, uh, maybe a little stick if you're in the field, uh, maybe like a little Allen key if you have one for your tripod and so on, but that is how I adjust everything. Do remember that most large format lenses have an aperture scale on the top and on the bottom. So if it's higher up, you can also move from the bottom. And uh, yeah, basically a simple house key that we all carry around is the solution to this because you want to get into that, you know, recessed uh, lens board and it's really, really hard. Like I said, you use these if you can't achieve uh, infinity focus or your bellows won't let you to get that focus so you can come closer to the film plane. Um, this is a very, very specific problem. I think it's not something that a lot of people are gonna encounter, but if you are like Jack and you're having this problem, maybe this will fix it for you. So yeah, that's been Superfilm Support for today. As always, remember you can ask questions down below and that Superfilm Support is basically uh, done thanks to Patreons and uh, PayPal donations. So I'll leave the links to those below if you feel like helping the channel make quirky videos like this about large format lenses that not own, anybody owns, uh, but I do. So yeah, this is the XL72, that's how I do it. Like I said, keys, they're always with you pretty much unless you don't have a house. 
uh, and they really usually work re very well to adjust the things on the lens. And you won't damage the lens if you're careful, so don't worry about that. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.